Hey guys, I'm here in the CISO. He's a traditional Mayan local farmer and he's very busy and he's been so kind to give us a few minutes to tour his food forest and go foraging. So come on, let's go and have a look around. I plant on the extreme of the edge of the of the property and I'm thinking of the people who don't have so they could have some because it's right on the roadside so it, it's helping the the needy you know in a one way like that so some might call it gangsai gardening because you would just have it and not, never ask for it <laughs> and it's free you know Nasiso lives on the edge of the Mayan Bay Reserve on the border between Guatemala and Belize. He has spent the last 50 years creating this abundant forest garden full of food and medicinal plants. As an example to the world of how we can not only survive but thrive by restoring biodiversity and living in harmony with nature in a way that will save the environment and reverse the climate crisis. Hey, Oh, wow, nice. Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday in... Wednesday, you think, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> once is not a, the sap is not a, a crystal, it's, it's ripe, ripening already. Okay. Oh, then it's white and it's yeah. clear, it's uh, not ripe. It's going to get ripe soon, you see yellow appear already. Yeah. Three days, they are ripe. Nice mango slippers, we call it mango slippers. Slippers. Slippers mango. Mm -hmm. You see the ashes? The ashes are very good for, for tomato trees. They stop some fungus or they stop some uh, insect from um, attacking the root of the of the plant. The ashes are a fertilizer for, for plants, they contain salt. What I need to do is get the, the ashes, get some um, white white marl or white lime and, uh, and some, some salt and, and mix the, the, the soil with it and then um, make a, like a bigger, like a little uh, pot hole and then fill it with that, only that kind of um, material. And then you might leave it for a week there, and then when you come back with you to transplant your tomato or whatever you put there, seed, and you plant and watermelon, whatever seed you want to put in there, it will be um, a resistible plant because it, the, the soil is so rich that they start to grow very fast, and, and, and then the insects don't attack them. It's a cricket. It's a cricket, yes. It blends in. Oh, there's a spider on there. This is um, a sesame plant. Mm. I got some, some papayas here. Papayas. Mm. They're, they're still small. Papaya, yes, they are still small, but the papayas are not only food, they also are a medicinal plant. So you could use the leaves or you could use the, the seeds and you could use the, the pulp that the plant have or the meat or whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. Those are in a special food, you know. When when you have a constipation, uh, you use the seeds. Uh, you um, might grow or, or, or eat at least four or three seeds and uh, heat it, you know, chew it properly to make it grow and then have a little water behind it and that works. And the leaves? Is it and the, the leaves, um, some people use it like for um, getting rid of this uh, kind of fever that's walking around right now. So people don't know about the leaves much, you so know, it because fights they, viruses, yes, and exactly. bacteria, mm -hmm. infections. And yes, things. it's a very important plant. You got some sugar cane there. Sugar cane is also a, maybe not an indigenous plant, but also useful because um, uh, you could uh, make a syrup instead of um, um, using sugar. You could do syrup if you if you have um, the patient enough. To get the, the water and then boil it until it turn into a into a like a like honey like you know like a like a syrup, yeah, yeah. Like a 
some people just chew the stick, right? Yes, some some will take the only the, the. When is it ready to do that? that well, there are uh, there are some that are already in a, yes mm -hmm. in somewhere about there. There are some the bigger ones. Yeah, yeah, big larger ones. Maybe those uh -huh. ones over there. We've got banana plants behind us as well. Yeah, there's so many things around banana. That's apple banana that we enjoy just now that you give me An one. An apple banana, apple the banana. small ones. Uh -huh. But this will grow bigger because then what I, I'll do is get rid of the flower that's underneath and then the banana will grow bigger. As so you cut the flower uh -huh. up. Cut the flower up. After it's uh, make, make, make all the banana fruit. And then we start to make only flowers and get rid of it and then the bananas will grow bigger. Oh, yes. Yeah. Something I think that are not being told to anyone. <laughs> 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 These are our, our, our stickers we call them. Stickers like this. But they also are, are um, have medicinal purposes. That's why you let them grow, let them produce seeds. You can see the bugs have been eaten. Yes, uh, yes. Um, so, um, because there is so many uh, a diversity of um, animals, so everybody needs something to eat, so they will eat different plants. And, and when I when I plant my, my, um, my garden, I don't get rid of all the plants. The, so the, the, the animals will also, always get something to eat that they like already. Mm. So that's the purpose. This too is a... Is a um, this one. Yeah, yes, yes. While the yamabush and, uh, is for this is special for uh, when you have a sore body, you get the leaves and, and mix it with a little oil, you know, and, and massage it because it does have a, 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 a scent that uh, not no other plant have it. So mm -hmm. it's medicinal. That that scent is medicinal too, also. Mm -hmm. So you could put a leaf to show the people that you. This is the leaves. Mm -hmm. Then you got the one that are. Um, um, it smells a little bit like sour stuff as well. <laughs> so, so this is a, is a, the, the, the leaf, that smell mm. is um, telling you that it's good for massaging. Mm. Because so there will be a, a, other smell that almost almost. Uh, Smell the same, but um, you will know that by the scent that it's not good to to drink, but it's good to, for massaging. So that's one way to, to know the, the There's plants. a lot of moisture in there. Yes, that's well. why it's with, with a little oil and, and you massage you some, that. someone that's um, have a sore body or something. There's moisture coming out. Uh, uh -huh. So leaves contain a lot of water. Turn into a cacao. Look at that. Uh, and beside and it the, comes like that afterwards. Beside the other, beside the tree, the sour sap. Is it? That's growing together. That one that you're holding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the, the sour sap. Oh, sour they're growing together. Look. Yes. The sour sap tree and the cacao are growing together. My two favorite things. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can put, put your name on the tree. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sour sop. <laughs> <laughs> Take the flower. It will open more bigger yet. Will that turn into the, yes, the sour sop? Uh -huh. It turns into this way. After the flower drops like this one here, see the tip? No, no, no. On, on this other one here. Yes. Uh -huh. that, after the flower drop, that will happen. That's the sour sap. That's the sour sap. And what's that? Is that the flower coming? The flower, the flower growing it. Huh? Oh, so they're about to come out then. They're yes, not there will be quite a, ready. Among this, uh, How old is this tree, do you think? How old is the tree? Mm. Ten. Ten years. Still quite, looks small, doesn't yes, it? Small but, yet. but it's going to bring a lot of fruit. Yes. Uh, the leaves are good to drink, you know. Yeah, I'm taking some fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> you, you, you could get the fresh one from the, the new sprout there. Oh, I can see the sprouts now. Yeah, the sprouts, yes. You, you get rid of all the sprout leaves you want. Very important to drink. 
it's a medicinal tea. It's not only a tea, you know. It does a lot of um, goodness to our system. I think it's an anti-cancerous um, drink. Yeah, I've heard it's quite cancer. I think it's good for your health yes, in general. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, look at it. It's growing there. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a lovely basil bush. Yeah. Very powerful medicine too. And look, there's the seeds coming out yeah. there. Once this is kind of dry, the seeds are Oh, it smells good. good, you know. We should take a little bit. Yes, you take as much mm. as, you, as you want. You break, break it from, break a stick from, from, from down. Yeah. From down. Yeah. You break a piece like, like this. A stick, yeah. <laughs> nice. If you, oh. if you want more, you will get more. Look <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. okay, the little flowers there. You yeah. have a next branch if you want. Tell Thank them. you, I'll take one more then. Take one more because maybe you get to meet some other friends, invite them. Yeah. That's the, that's the way to, to, to share. Uh -huh. Cheer, cheer. <laughs> Not the chair, but you know. <laughs> wow, that's loads. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> so, like this one here is a, it's a male papaya. Oh, it's a male one. Male papaya. So it won't produce no fruit, but it's, it's flowering. It, but it's flowering. The, so the fruit is, is, is in. See that? Look at the flower. The fruit attracts the the, the so we call it the butterflies. The so the um, hummingbirds will come too. Mm. So that's why sometimes I leave. I don't get rid of all of them. There's a lot of bees though on the coconut flowers. Oh. You see up there? Oh, yes, I didn't yes. even know the coconut so, flowers so, so were like that. Some of the bees are pollinating, but some of the black bees are not the, doing good. They are just soaking out the nectar. Oh. The black bees. There is some black flies around too. And are those little round bits the coconut that's going to start? Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. That's before the coconut starts. This nature is amazing. Yeah, those when are the so, flowers. You yeah, have a flower so small and then yes, you get very this small, huge fruit. Yes, very small. You see this, this, this um, <laughs> the flower are tiny, tiny mm. like this. It's got a very strange flavor. Oh yes, yeah, it's not I wasn't sure, like I tried it and it's yes, nothing it's, um, like I've ever tried before. No, no, it's this different. Uh, We're not going <laughs> <laughs> <We'll get it. laughs> well, to three of us are, are long enough, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> There's some fruit up there I've never tried before. What people, people do with it is a, they boil it with brown sugar and oh. make a, like a like a jam like. Can so, you eat it fresh or just? Yes, you eat the fresh when it's um, mm. Oh, is it like mesquiros? They look very similar. <laughs> Is it ready when it's like this? Yes, yeah, ready? Yes, um, this is a some that drop on the ground too. So I, I sell them for three dollars, three dollars a, a little plant. Mm -hmm. I make seedlings. It tastes similar to that one I ate the other day. Yes, is it the same thing? The same, the same, chiricote. Chiricote. Chiricote, yes. Huh? <laughs> I think it's like it tastes kind of like flowers. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's very. It's hard to describe the taste. It's really hard to describe. Mm -hmm. But it's it's a unique taste that only this have it. When it's ripe, 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 you, you, you soft. You when you hold it, it's soft. Mm. But when it's not not proper ripe, it, when you hold it like this, it's hard. So when it's soft. Mm. Normally people know it like this, you know, but then they, they cook it and they break the little nut from inside and eat the little nut from... Oh, so you can eat the nut inside? Yes, we eat, we, we not have a little nut inside of this um, shell here. Mm -hmm. And how long do you cook it for? That's for, cook it for... Um, 10 minutes, maybe 20? And, no, I think it's about 45 minutes. 45 minutes, in sugar water? Yeah, in sugar, um, yeah, brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Or sugar water, yes, it's still the same. It will become into a, a honey-like thing, or what do you call it? Syrup. It's thick liquid. What do you call it? Honey? Syrup? Mm, yeah, syrup. <laughs> syrup. That's a, a medicinal plant for um, 
when people got sores that are hard to heal to, you wash, you got the leaves and boil it, and then you wash the area with, with the leaves, not to drink. So it's just um, external. Yeah, external medicine. So when when <laughs> when you um, some some kind of soul that don't want to heal, you get some of these um, leaves um, and boil it and and wash the affected area. But then um, not to eat the not to eat the berries because they contain something, some um, maybe toxins in there because of the sap. Um, Jamaican lime mm, smells so good. To make them, it's a different to the one that yes, you said about it. the skin. Yes, uh -huh. Get the biggest one, you know, get so the get biggest big one. Ones, yeah? ja Jamaican, Jamaican lime. Up here, you got some good, good size ones. Here. Where am I looking? This tree that you see here is a is a tree that um, came out from our root. I, I had a tree before here, and it died, and um, it it. Um, Need a little sprout, and then it become this tree here, and and that this tree, and more roots start to come out on that area, and so I have about almost ten trees, and the, in the same year there around all of those are lime trees from the same tree <coughs> from the root. Are they all just sprouting out from the ground? Yes, from the ground. Yes. Nice. Asking about the mango, why why don't doesn't it no have no fruit? Because um, last year it had ab abundance, and this year it, it's resting, you know. So next year it will be abundance again. I think I'm more or less it's five acres. Wow, there's so much growing here, like mm -hmm. it feels bigger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they look bigger than that, but um, <laughs> it's not. It's, it's, it's enough to feed you and, and many people, I think. Many squirrels. <laughs> And many squirrels and many birds. <laughs> and many birds. <laughs> and insects. And in, yes, we use this, uh, the, whole, the whole family. So this area had um, sesame um, about four months ago. Uh, harvest about uh, maybe all together, you know, from here to the road about um, three kilos uh -huh. I got some to at home right now to, uh, for the market these are more sour but they are, are most when they are ripe they have very very nice flavor how many types of mangoes do you have here? Um, I think I think I got about three types, four types, I guess, of mango. But not, not I don't know the names of them. So I do, the difference is the mangoes, you know. Are they native? Um, they this one is native. Uh -huh. I got one that's not native. Which are the best ones to pick? This one here is already getting ripe. Should I just pull it down? Yeah, get that one. A day or two more that will I hope you will eat it. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh, that one. Oh. <laughs> it's kinda of soft. This one's getting soft. Oh, that's it. This one's still a bit hard. That way we'll get right soon. Yeah. In three days. They smell good. Oh yes. Just stick you'll be aware of the of the how you call it the sap. The sap mm. is itchy, is yeah, it? The sap is, is sap. Mm. Burns a little bit, don't put it in your pocket. <laughs> put it in a bag or so. This is verbin, it's called verbin, but also called Jupiter plant. It's called verbin. And how do you take it? As well, it you, you, you boil one, one tree, you boil the leaves to drink. Mm -hmm. And, and you just drink it, you swallow it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fresh colds, people still use, use it for um, diarrhea too. So when they have diarrhea, to they, they boil the leaf and drink it. Yeah, with garlic, boil it with garlic for diarrhea. We call this a physic nut. Um, it's a one 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 kind because you got two kinds. One is a tree, and this is only a shrub.
but also um, this produce some um, orange fruits maybe this uh, this size normally people will will use it for um, when you have like burns inside your mouth there is like burn when so, like something burn your like sores in the mouth so you roast the dry ripe one and you roast it not to burn it just roast it and then you, the the inside that it, it have you you wet a cotton or a or a, or a soft flat and then you you, you rub it all over the, the patient or the person that have the infection because that's an infection. So this is also a medicinal plant, that's why it's... Everything here. Yes, every, almost something. everything, yes, that's why. Mm -hmm. And here we have this one here that... Uh, I think I showed you this the other day. The little, the little one, the, this one that produced the pouches in the morning, in the, the flower. Something, somebody got it already, I guess. Is it eaten already? Hopefully, I guess so, yes. This is something in the right or whatever is happening here. There's another mango. Oh, but this is somebody that is already. This is both of it. These are our five pong mango. You never get big enough this year. You want one of the green ones? Okay. We put five pound mango. Is that big? Yeah, they're supposed to go bigger, but they never happen because we had a, a little dry weather, too long. Well, not big, like um, in normally, normally it's bigger. It's a, a five pound mango. But um, this, this time, because of the dry, dry weather, it never grow big enough. So some of the some of fruits never never grew um, big enough because um, we had a, a a little dry dry season to to more than normal and um, some some fruits never never uh, get to mature the prop the proper way or never grow enough like a normal. And that's really is that's the reason I don't. Um, don't um, don't uh, uh, cut all the the the, top, the the covering, the soil covering. Mmm. 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 So all those things behind there, the yes, sesame yes. seed stalks. Oh, but I got the beans there too. That's red beans. They're dried though, so yeah, you're going to use dried. the seeds. They're, they're good to eat. You want to have some to eat, to cook? Yeah. Well, yeah. help yourself. Yeah, you open the pods and take with the beans. Yeah. He said he didn't get a good crop of these because too much rain in the wrong mm. season and mm. now... So in the rainy season there's less rain, and uh, the less, dry, less rain, yeah. in the drier season there was too much rain. Yeah, yeah too much rain to when it, this was um, like December. So half of my crop went bad. It's an example of the climate change yes, because you, you don't know exactly. So we we farmers are are just only like doing like a, a guessing. Huh? You might get and might not get. Some of the, some mm -hmm. have got the termites or something have gone mm -hmm. in there. And this is when it looks good. That one's open. So when they store something like very dry things, put put a layer of, of um, white lime under the, under the the storage box or storage bin or or whatever, and then we put the seeds. Put your seed and then. Don't fill the the container to the top. Then the, the, to the top you will put a next layer of of a um, of, uh, white white lime on the top to to contain the weevils from getting inside the seeds. The small spots are because of the I know, of the bad weather small. that happened to the, to them. Almost never make it down. Almost. Yeah, there's only one seed inside. Yeah, sometimes only one. Uh, You've got this whole pod, but then inside there's only one. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? It just popped out and then these tiny ones. Mm -hmm. No good. 
How many would you say should be in a pod? Five? Four, four or five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we're only getting two or two three. Two or three, yes. Only where the, the, um, the soil elevation was more higher, I got some bigger pods. But where the, it was low, low area, some of them didn't, the tree died because the, the, the root was flooded with too much water. And beans don't like water, you know, like onion or other plants. The beans is a very delicate thing. It's, a, it's, it's been um, more than 10 years I had this dream already and I can't forget it and because it's, it's, it's um, I'm living it already, we are living it already. Since I was thinking about, you know, about the planet always, you know, to make it better, um, I had a dream about a long, long drought. And I, I see the all the trees brown, the soil brown. All, all, only three trees that um, were standing were, were, were the banana, bread nut fruit, and um, uh, cocoa yam. When I woke up, I, I start to think about the meaning of it. So the meaning is that these plants will send roots, like the trees will send roots deep in the ground. And the others, like the banana, contain a lot of water in them, so they could withstand uh, maybe a long period of dry weather. And it, it is happening already because, you know, some, some waters or some rivers are disappearing and things will not get so, so, um, so good unless we, we get together and, 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 and plant, you know, plant something. Uh, plant something no matter if you don't need it but other people will need it you know so don't you don't you don't plant because you don't need it you plant because you think about other people who will need it and it will be best for the for the planet because the more green the more green the plant is the better the better um, life people will have so th that's why my aim is to plant all these um, kind of uh, plant that uh, contain a lot of water to make a, like a model for the for the people who want to who want to well continue living because if you don't have enough maybe you don't have food but you have a piece of sugar cane you could eat a piece for the day and then you survive and other things that around you know because mother earth is, is like a is like a living person it's sad because um, what i i don't see see right that um, there is so many bear vast areas cleared areas that are in, in danger because you know they are, they, there's nothing to hold them together so um, i think the planet needs need trees to, to keep it together you know especially when people are living on slopes they should not cut the trees around the the slope and if you got trees you got uh, you got humus because the root, the trees are, are, are leaves are falling and and the humus is growing and then that's what the earth need to because the earth is like a human, like I'm telling you, he, he needs his food too. You've got the technique. So that's it guys, we've had an amazing day foraging in the CISO's food forest here. It's been incredible. We've had mangoes, we've seen all his plants, all the medicinal things that just pop up on their own and we've learned so much. Thank you so much, Nasiso. It's You're been welcome. amazing. You're welcome. Please smash the like, hit the subscribe, tap the bell to stay notified. Peace.